Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session we are going to discuss about Fibonacci heap. So we are going to learn that what is Fibonacci heap, what are their time complexity of performing several operations on Fibonacci heap and what are the basic structure and its application, right? So if we start from Fibonacci heap, it is advanced data structure basically used for priority queue operations consisting of collection of heap ordered trees. So what is priority queue? I hope you all know about it, but if you don't know, priority queue is also a data structure like a stack or queue, but here the data elements are associated with some priorities, right? On the basis of their priorities, the operations are served. So this is the definition of priority queue, right? Now, Fibonacci heap is a data structure for priority queue operations consisting of collection of heap order trees. Uh, in a moment, we are going to discuss each and every thing about heap order trees in them. So stay patient. I hope that till the end of the video, you are going to learn a bit about Fibonacci heap, right? So the next one is, it has a better amortizing running time than many other priority queue data structure, including the binary heap and binomial heap. So if we uh, discuss the counterpart structures like binary heap or binomial heap, then uh, the running time complexity is much more improved and boosted in the Fibonacci heap. Okay. And if we discuss that who discovered it just for the basis of your knowledge, then Michael L. Fredman and Robert E. Trezen developed Fibonacci heap in 1984 and they published them in Scientific Journal in 1987. Now, if we discuss something more about Fibonacci, about its structure, then you can read it like a uh, Fibonacci heap is a collection of trees. It is a collection of trees satisfying the minimum heap property. Now, I hope you know about minimum heap. Minimum heap says that if you are having a tree, then in that tree, the root node must be minimum from all its subtree nodes. Let's say n subnodes are there and we are having a root node over n subnodes, then that must be minimum. And that definition should be followed for each sub root node as well. That is called as minimum heap property, right? So it is a collection of trees which is satisfying minimum heap property. Compared with binomial heaps, the structure of a Fibonacci heap is more flexible. The trees do not have prescribed shaped and in the extreme case, the heap can have every element in a separate tree as well. Now, if you can simply see here, uh, you can assume it like a Fibonacci structure, like the all trees are connected. This is a tree, this is another tree, this is uh, another tree and they are connected uh, in a fashion, right? So this is called as a Fibonacci heap. Now, Let's explore something more so that the concept should be cleared more. A Fibonacci heap is a collection of rooted trees that are mean heap ordered. That should be mean heap ordered. If you are going to see here, yes, two is less than five here. One is less than three, four, seven, as well as eight. Seven is less than eight, as well as eight is less than nine. Similarly, all the above elements must be minimum from the all the elements which existed below side, right? So that is the basic definition of Fibonacci heap. Now, if I discuss something more, then uh, nodes within a Fibonacci heap can be removed from the tree without restructuring them. So the order does not necessarily indicate the maximum height of the tree or number of nodes it contains. Okay, now. Now, nodes within a Fibonacci heap can be removed from the tree without restructuring them, right? So if we want to remove some nodes, then we do not need to restructure them again, right? Like in binomial heap, right? Now, if you are going to see the concept, the concepts can be explained in some basic terminology. The one most important basic terminology here is a marked nodes. What are marked nodes? Right, the decrease key operation mark a node when its child is cut from a tree, right? Like, so let's say a tree was like this earlier and uh, this tree is, let's say you can say that uh, a child is cut from here, right? Now, if child is cut from here, then to track the history of operations that we have performed on the tree, we 
generally marked a node right so essentially the marking of nodes allow us to track whether the node has no children not cut unmarked if it is unmarked it means that earlier no nodes are uh, cutted from it right and the node has a single child cut it means a mark if a node is having single child cut then it should be marked but if more than one child cut it simply means that it would not be a root node in that case it would be a leaf node in that case right if the root itself would be removed right so the node is above have a second child cut removing child of a mark node right so let's say if we have cutted this also then this uh, this, this will become non root element now some more notations you have to learn about uh, fibonacci heap is that uh, n is number of nodes in heap so if i talk about n then number of nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so the number of n is 14 if we talk about rank x that is number of children a node x is having uh, if we talk about this node then the rank of this node is 1 because it is having one children if we talk about this node then the rank of this uh, node is 2 because it is having two children if we talk about this the rank of this one is 0 if we talk about this node the rank of this node is also zero no no children if we talk about this then the rank of this node is 1 2 3 similarly we can find the rank for each and every root node depending the how many children they have and if we talk about rank h it means that maximum rank in any node in heap so if we talk about uh, a consolidated tree then maximum maximum rank of uh, any node that is 3 so rank 3 is called as rank h so rank h it tells us that the maximum a maximum number of children if anybody is having in the heap fibonacci heap it is 3 a uh, tree h it is the number of trees in a heap so if we talk about tree h then how many number of trees we are having one then it is two it is three it is four and it is five so we are having five trees here and mark h number of marked nodes so this 26 it is one mark node 18 another mark node and 39 it is another mark node so mark nodes basically tells us that some uh, cut operations were done before in earlier in the phase right so it just uh, denotes that earlier something has been removed from here that that represents marks right so three mark nodes are here now right? so the basic notations i hope the basic terminology of the notations you you, you should understand right now the next one is potential a very important term in the terms of fibonacci heap is potential of fibonacci heap the amount of time that is saved later use is measured at any given moment by a potential function the potential of fibonacci heap is given by t plus 2m so uh, uh, how much complexity we are reducing right now for the later operations are generally called as a potential and uh, it is having general derived formula t plus 2 m where t is nothing but the number of trees that fibonacci heap is having so if we want to find out the potential of this fibonacci heap the number of trees 1 2 3 4 5 plus 2 into number of marked nodes so how many number of marked nodes we are having 1 2 and 3 so 2 multiply with 3 so ultimately 5 plus 6 that is 11 so 11 it is a potential of this fibonacci heap right so uh, fibonacci heap potential ultimately helps us in the later use of that uh, heap for finding some operation doing some later operations now if you want to uh, now let's discuss about some operations the first one is finding minimum if you want to find minimum minimum not in the fibonacci heap, then it would take order of one because because the by default property of fibonacci heap is that it uh, it uh, root list is always kept up to update it itself update it will it will find out it will update itself a minimum pointer is there which is going to be update itself uh, with the minimum number of uh, node which is which, which, which it is going to compare and uh, uh, it is going to find that what is the minimum number of nodes so minimum number of node is 3 so by default this minimum pointer is going to hold that right so if you want to find the minimum then it would going to take order of one because by default it is pointing to that right and the next one is insertion let's say if we want to add something new some some new node into the heap then what would be the time complexity in how to add right so 
uh, if you want to let's say this is our uh, this is our already existing heap and i want to add this 21 node number 21 uh, it is a single node i want to add here so ultimately the basic 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 concept is uh, just find out the pointer pointer is starting from here nothing to do nothing to do because the collection this is the collection fibonacci heap is a collection of rooted trees it is a collection of rooted trees right so if i want to add it i have to simply go to the pointer and i can add simply here in the rooted tree because it is a it is like doubly circular linked list it is like doubly circular linked list so it is going to take order of one just simply create the node and add the node with the help of with the help of uh, linked list because uh, the complete concept of fibonacci heap is revolved around double circular linked list we can reach from first to last last to first as well as we can move in what direction okay now union so basically union i hope you, you you know the union ultimately here let's say if we are having two trees let's say we are having this tree and we are having this tree so the first goal is here only to find whose root node is minimum because we are fibonacci heap is working on minimum so if you want to do the union of these two then find out whose root node is minimum so it is it is having a smaller root node so if it is having a smaller root node, then we just create another uh, edge from here and just add this tree here, right? So similarly, if you are going to see here, as the 15 is the node here and the third three is the node here. So the root node of this tree is, uh, let's say tree one, tree two. So tree two's root node is minimum. So we have to create one more edge and we have to add this tree here, right? So by, by default, you can assume that uh, 15 is lesser than 18. So we can add on left side as well, no problem. So ultimately, just a simple task, only one comparison is there if you want to perform union between two trees, find the minimum. Whoever is having minimum, create a new new edge and just add that, right? That is it. An order of one is going to take in union. The next one is decrease key. So decrease key, uh, important concept, but here some cases you have to understood. Let's say if it is our Fibonacci heap, and let me tell you the all examples I have taken from iq.opengenius.org. So don't worry, I hope the uh, learning should be cumulative and credit should be gone to the content from where we are going to take. So don't worry on that. If it's are followed each and every phase. Okay. Now, if this is our Fibonacci heap, then uh, I want to decrease this 46. I want to replace this 46 with 29. So if I replace this 46 with 29, then property of um, Fibonacci heap should not be changed. So just ensure whether 29 is lesser than 72 years and all the upper nodes should be great, uh, should be lesser than that. Because um, if we are performing the Fibonacci heap on minimum, then definitely the upper nodes must be, must be, minimum like 24 seven. so no issue in that but if i want to replace this 29 let's say with 50 in that case in that case this 24 is more so the, the property of fibonacci heap is violating some somewhere so if it is violating in that case in that case uh, the thing is that create one more uh, one more edge and uh, uh, whatever we are uh, doing if i want to replace this with 15 then uh, add that uh, tree add that tree on the sub rooted tree, right? So add that tree in the Fibonacci heap, same as it is. So it, this part would be cut from here and it is going to be add here, right? Because the, if I want to replace this 15, it is going to violate it like this, right? It is not a minimum heap. So we have to eliminate it. We have to cut it, cut it. And if I want to cut it, then in that case, in that case, I have to uh, add one more tree into the Fibonacci heap like this, right? And if I am cutting its child, we can mark 24 also just to track the history, right? So I hope this is how decrease key works. And if we talk about the decrease key, then normally whatever key we want to replace directly with the help of pointers, we can replace it. But there is a need of checking that whether the property is uh, you know, violating or not for Fibonacci. So just compare it with the root node and if it is violating, and you can go to the Fibonacci heap and you can add that point there, right? So ultimately that task can also be done in order of one. Okay, and the last operation is deletion. 
So deletion is simple. Uh, decrease the value of the node to the delete x to minimum by decrease key function as we have done. And if uh, using mean heap property, if we find the heap containing x, bringing x to the root node, whatever we are deleting, come to the um, let 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 them put into the uh, uh, root list and apply extract mean algorithm and uh, whatever we want to extract, we can simply extract that. Right. So this is how deletion operation will be done. And this is a simple time complexity operation if you are going to see then minimum operations can be finding minimum can be done in order of one and uh, deletion of deletion can be done in order of log because after deletion we must have to ensure the property should not be violated for minimum and theta of one for insertion theta of one for decrease key and theta one of for uh, uh, decrease key on insertion and finding minimum and for union right so i hope the concepts are much more clear to you. Now let's talk about the application part. Fibonacci heaps are used to implement the priority queue element in Dijkstra's algorithm, giving the algorithm a very efficient time boost because Fibonacci heap have a faster amortized running time than other heap type. Fibonacci heaps are similar to binomial heap, but Fibonacci heaps have a less rigid structure. There is no restriction on the length and on the uh, root node where, where should we have to place it and all other stuff. That is why Fibonacci heap is boosting the time complexity uh, very, very uh, efficiently. So binomial heap and uh, you can simply say that uh, we can prefer bino uh, Fibonacci heap or binomial heap just because of the time complexity. But basically it is implemented on priority queue and as you already know, whatever the definition of priority queue is, element should be associated with some priority as well. So ultimately if we are performing some some operations by considering priority queue, then Fibonacci heap is boosting and work, will work efficiently. So I hope the basic concepts of Fibonacci heap should be clear. It is very basic. I hope the basics are very much clear. Further, if you're having any kind of doubt or any kind of confusion or query, you can comment us and I will try to resolve them as early as possible. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind.